Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV. We're over here at IWA in Nuremberg, Germany, and I'm at the Pulsar booth. I've got Henrik, and Henrik, you are pro staff for Pulsar, is that correct? That's true, I'm pro staff. And I've got Ludus, you are the, what, marketing, head of marketing, is that what we're gonna say? Yeah, that's that sounds about right. I can't think of two better dudes to talk about new products. A, a new Pulsar products with. You guys have some new thermal optics that you're introducing 2022. Why don't you tell us about it? So let's start with the rifle scopes because that's always the biggest fun. So um, one thing that we already introduced at the SHOT Show this year uh, was quite successful is our upgrade to the Thermion line. So we had Thermion for now two years or so. So this is a Thermion 2 LRF XP50 Pro. The LRF obviously stands for laser rangefinder. So we took that classical design of daytime scope that we've already been using, added a laser, laser range finder to it. So we also expanded the line. In SHOT Show, we just showed the XP version, which is the 640 17 micron. Here we have XQ, which is 384 17 micron. And the best news for Europeans, we also have the XG, which was previously just available in the US market. We now have that 640 12 micron version available for Europe, and we're going to have that across Europe and all the markets, obviously, where the rifle scopes are legal. Uh, and yeah, we have that. You have the combination of the great image quality and the laser range finder now. All those numbers, Ludus, uh, that made zero sense to me. I have no idea what you're just talking about. Elaborate. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to try to dumb it down just for you. Yeah, please. Uh, please. Basically, we have four types of sensors. XM, XG, XQ, XP. Uh, those stand for the resolution of the sensor as well as the pixel pitch. You might have to spend about two days with me just talking about those mm. to start cracking the surface to understand that. Do we have enough memory, enough battery in there? <laughs> but yeah, essentially, to put it very simply, these mean different types of sensors which give you different resolution, different image quality, mm. obviously different price, mm. uh, different base magnification, and all that together is uh, kind of depending on how you're hunting, what you're hunting for, distances you're shooting at, you can pick and choose the one that suits you most. So how's this different than everything else on the market or maybe what you've introduced before? Um, well, first thing, uh, it's the laser integrated laser range finder in this slick daytime optics kind of look and feel. Uh, we are proud about our image quality, which is, again, uh, unprecedented in many ways. Uh, it's the clarity, the, um, uh, the sensitivity. So if you look through the thermals, any thermals here in the, show, in the show, it's gonna be pretty clean, very nice, very sharp. Where magic happens is when you're outdoors during the rain, during the fog, where basically there's very little uh, thermal, um, uh, thermal difference mm -hmm. between the objects, this is where these products start to shine. Because even if um, you know it's just 0.3 of a of a uh, degree in a difference, you can still see that difference, and then you can kind of detect not only a hot object, but you can see your background, your trees, your bushes, and all that stuff. So basically, the thing that uh, divides good device from awesome device is how they perform in bad conditions. And this is an awesome device. This is more than awesome. This is this is amazing. <laughs> well, um, how much does amazing cost? Um, so this one goes for, uh, I need to check, I think it's about four grand, mm -hmm. 4,000 euros. Okay. So, but again, and we're gonna talk about, uh, about the Talion next. So depending on your depth of your pocket, you can choose a lower quality or lower resolution um, sensor and still have that really good experience. But as everything, you know, you buy something that costs less and then you're drooling about something that you right. could have just, you know, added on top and get that even better. But again, it's everybody's personal preference. I absolutely love this. It has a wide field of view, has a base magnification of 2X. Then you can go with digital zoom and increase that. But the way I use it, wide field of view is my, my, my uh, preference. I mean, the U.S. dollar is pretty hot right now, so my pockets are, are pretty deep. Which one am I going with if, so, if I've got the deep pockets? Uh, obviously, this is the 
top of the line. Oh, that is. Okay. That is top of the line. So you want to go for that. But at the same time, the good thing about U.S. market, right, is most of you are not limited to one rifle. So you can have a dedicated rifle for, uh, let's say, LRF for longer distances or when you're shooting in unfamiliar place where you need to know that distance, mm -hmm. right? And then you can opt in for another device that we are also presented at the SHOT Show, but expanded the line of what we're showing here is, this is a Talion XG. So the price for this one is gonna be around three and a half mm -hmm. thousand euros. So again, a steep, steep um, kind of difference. There's no laser range finder here. So it's kind of simplified. Uh, has this, the first time I saw this when R&D brought it out, I was like, okay, are we just doing a lightsaber now or mm -hmm. what's going on? Because <laughs> if you take it off the mount, yeah, oh, yeah. It, it ha and bear in mind, it had like white plastic at that uh -huh. time. It was uh -huh. just like, yeah, I can hear the humming sound in my head. So. I, I too am a nerd. So. Yeah. Uh, but let, but the, may the fourth be with you. <laughs> um, so yeah, like the focus here is simpler, right? And, and what we have is if it's dead center, mm -hmm. that's about 75 meters. So you can kind of base, work based on it off of that, kind of giving you additional information. You, all the uh, controls are here now, they're simplified. So the encoders here, you p choose your menu, your recording and your magnification. Um, again, something that I absolutely love about all of our products, replaceable, ba replaceable batteries. Um, so already this has about, I think, seven hours of runtime, right? But even if you run out of juice, all you do is open this here, take out the battery, put in a new one, which costs you, I don't know, 50 euros, 60 euros, I don't remember at the moment, depending on the market. You close it down and you have another seven, eight hours. Yeah, so I could use a couple of batteries. I mean, when I'm on a kill streak, when I'm out there in the field, I mean, there, it, there are times where I'm slaughtering mammals for 48 straight hours without sleeping. So I see that as a, a huge benefit of this. And you're saying that this one's around 3,500 euro, right? Yeah, something so, around that. Henrik, which one are you going with here as the pro? The, yeah, uh, well, that is a very challenging question because I come from Germany and uh, we're not allowed to have these rifle scopes. So we have to have other solutions like front detachments. This, this is your scope. Yeah, right. exactly. It, isn't it sad? Isn't it sad? Yeah, <laughs> it German is. The German version. Yeah. But no, we can use front detachments um, like, you know, these, which you attach to the normal daytime rifle scope. And um, that's what I have to choose because mm -hmm. I don't have any other choice. If I would go abroad, like, say, move to the United States, I would go for this. Because, I mean, this is all fancy with a laser rangefinder there. Man, I do a lot of stalking, and I don't want to. Me carry, too. Yeah, and I don't don't want to carry that around. This is much lighter, and this is you know pretty cool. That is awesome if you're hunting from a high seat, right? You get settled, or you, you lie down somewhere prone, and everything is nice, comfortable. You can measure your distance. Cool, you know. But for it looks heavier. Yeah, it is. Is it? It is. Yeah, and look, you know, there's so many more hooks to get hooked on it's, it's great oh, yeah. you know it's it's great but when you stalk no <laughs> i take the tally on you know okay very cool and i'm really appreciative that you guys took your time to show this to us because again you both know i'm a huge novice you help walk me through it i know that there are a lot of people out there especially thermals becoming more popular people that watch our channel who don't really understand all the ins and outs of thermal optics. You guys did a great job explaining. Thank you very much. Uh, Seriously, no Ludus, Henrik. Pleasure. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you more from EWA.